What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna take the curved walls that we created in our tutorial a couple weeks ago and show you a couple different ways to cut holes inside of those openings. If you're looking for more great SketchUp tips, make sure to check out my SketchUp tips guide at thesketchupessentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, and so I wanted to show you a couple different ways to cut holes inside of curved walls like this one inside of SketchUp. Um, because once you start dealing with curved faces, things get a lot uh, trickier than if you were just uh, going through and creating holes in like a flat face manually or something like that. And so there's a couple different ways to do this. And the first way is my preferred way. This is the way that I always try to do this just because it's going to be a lot easier. And that way is to use solid tools tools in order to cut your opening. Now the trick with solid tools is it's really important when you do this that your groups both be solids, meaning that um, they, they're they completely enclosed, meaning there's no holes in them and there's no internal faces. So if I was to turn on x-ray mode and look at this wall, there's no internal faces inside of this wall. Um, so like for example, if we were to go in here and we were to draw If we were to draw a face inside of this wall, so you can see how there's a face in here but nothing else has changed. And again, I have x-ray mode turned on so you can see inside of it. You can see how this is no longer a solid. So um, if there's a wall on the inside, or if there's a face on the inside of something like this group, then it's not gonna be a solid. So modeling things to be solids can be a little tricky. The method I showed you a couple weeks ago um, will let you create your walls with, with them being a solid. And so the first way to do this is gonna be the easiest, and it's gonna be to just take your shape and then uh, push pull it through the wall and use solid tools in order to create your opening. So in this case, let's say I had a three foot by seven foot opening like this and I wanted to cut a hole in the wall, what I would do is I would just draw the size of the opening and then I would push pull this through the wall like this. And so now when I've done that, what I would do is I would triple click on this to make it a group. Now I have two groups intersecting with each other and you can see if I click on each one of them, they're both solid groups meaning solid tools will work with these two objects. And so you could do some stuff with uh, like for example, rotating the shape or something like that in order to make it line up with your wall a little bit more. Um, that's something you might have to do a little bit more trial and error on. But let's say I was to rotate this shape so that it would go through this uh, opening. Well, what I would do now is I would just click off of everything. Um, I find that to be the easiest way to do this. And then we would use subtract. And so what subtract does is subtract is going to subtract the first solid from the second and uh, use that to remove material from the second object. So all we would do is just inside of solid tools, which by the way is a pro or is a SketchUp pro function, but we would just click on subtract. We'd select our first object and then we'd select our second object. And you can see how what this does is this goes through and this removes the material in this curved wall where that original object was. So you can see how that's a really painless way to do this. And this will work for other shapes as well, like the star, for example. As long as whatever you create is a solid. So if I take this and I make this a group, you can see how that's a solid as well because I just extruded a shape and there's no interior faces in here. And one thing you need to be a little bit careful of when you do this, when you're dealing with curved walls, is if you have these in here at the wrong angle, you're going to get kind of an odd result. Like there's nothing wrong with this result, but it's not really like perpendicular with the wall, which is really kind of what you would want. So you would want to be aware of the fact that probably I would take this object and I would rotate it. Whoops. so that it's more running straight through the wall here. So maybe something like this, instead of the way we did it before. 
Well, now you get a much straighter hole through the wall. And you'd probably have to play around with that a little bit more just to make sure this is more straight on with the wall. But you can see how you can definitely do this to cut openings. Um, and so the one thing about that though, is that only works if your groups are a solid, right? So if these aren't solid groups and you can't get them to be solid groups, then that method isn't going to work. Well, if that method isn't going to work, the other thing you could do is you could also use the intersect with model approach. So let's say I had another seven foot opening and I wanted to cut that in this wall, well what you could do is you could draw this and then you could push pull it through the wall like this. And let's say that solid tools didn't work, well what you could do is you could click inside of this group and select all the faces in this object. I don't think you even need to click inside the group now that I think about it. You could just right click on it and click intersect faces with model. And so when you click intersect faces with model, and I'm going to take this and hide it, yeah, I think you need to be inside the group. So go inside the group, do a control A to select all and right click and click intersect faces with model. And so what that's gonna do is anywhere those faces intersect with something in the model, this is going to intersect them like this. So you can see how now this is split this out between this opening and this wall. Um, the problem with that is if you turn on x-ray mode, what you're gonna notice is this intersected this face right here and it intersected this face right here, but there's no geometry in between. So if I was to go in and delete out this face and then turn off x-ray mode, you can see how there's no geometry in here making up like a frame or anything like that. So there's an extra step that you need to follow in here. And that's gonna be if you turn on x-ray mode and look at this, you're just gonna need to draw in basically geometry across all of these endpoints that are in here. So you can see how I'm just drawing lines from endpoint to endpoint. And you can see how what that's doing, and remember I have x-ray mode turned on, you can see what that's doing is that's filling in geometry in here. Well now that I've drawn that in here, now if I was to come in and erase those out, you can see how this actually has faces on the inside. So there's a little bit more manual work required to do it this way, but you can definitely use this method to create openings in these curved walls as well. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you find these methods helpful? Have you been using them? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.